Hey guys, welcome back to what may very well be the final part of this Guys of Arcadia Legend playthrough. We have just finished beating uh, the Silver Gigas uh, Zelos, and we were rewarded with a Captain Stripe. That's the most useless Captain Stripe in the entire game, because we'll never get a chance to use it. So, you know, there's that. Oh, it ain't over. <laughs> Stop dropping rocks on my ship! <laughs> Do not adjust your sets. Epic music for the final battle. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Now, this guy has some very irritating habits. As you're about to see. Fine. I didn't ask for this. I can't even skip this. Now you can see how this is going, can't you? Seems that that goes first. Battery is just super quick. Hmm. No, you know what? Fifth of speed. So we have that to contend with. I don't think there's anything we can do to, uh, to beat that. I think it always goes first. So being faster actually won't help us. Now unfortunately I don't think Fina gets the benefits of the shields. She gets the benefit of that, but I don't think she gets the benefit of thingamajig. Just a shield. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? The good news is, if there is good news to this, doesn't waste spirit to um, when he's using special moves against us. So yes, although a character dies, doesn't set us back quite so far if we can get them revived quickly enough. I 
And with a guard up, he looks mm, crits for 500. That's pretty good. Okay. So this is going to be the main point of the fight, is trying to work around the Silver Nightmare. Man, Pirate Wrath is doing a lot of damage. You have an idea. I have an idea. Silver Binds. This doesn't look good. some of these animations for the game. What's that old saying? There ain't no kill like overkill. Well resisted, Fina. Actually, oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, let's do this. How was that outside? Don't know if you just heard that loud bang. So let's may as well use them. Now the question is, if I use prophecy, that'll leave me wide open to anything he does, including a turnum if he decides to cast it, which is bad. Just put a couple of guards up and check you. Prevents all adverse effects. Now, I don't know if that includes instant death. So if he uses a turnum, Fina might still be alive enough to revive everybody. Actually, she won't be able to revive everyone with her light because She'll, be, she'll only be gathering spirit on her own. But she will be able to use a Rizalum crystal. But we could get into a bad spot. You know what? You know what? It's the last... It's the last fight! Go epic. Go big or go home. I ever get the feeling that um, you're just doing Ramirez's work for him with that? Wow, that actually did. Oh, he doesn't get a turn before well, he used prophecy. Ooh. That did less than Cut than Pirate's Wrath. That's some pretty good music. What can you use that's handy? How many much you can do? There's no point in you focusing because that's just going to result in waste, a waste of a turn because we've got an aura, another Aura of Valor coming up. I 
I'm surprised he's not hammering away with Silver Nightmare. Pleasantly surprised, of course. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, well, we'll, we'll end up with Fool Spirit next turn. So. Go on, stone him. That'll be hilarious. Ah. There's an air of trunks about him in that from Dragon Ball Z. doesn't it? But, uh, I'm not going to have the spirit for it. Oh, that's too long to skip that one. Yeah, am I travelling around to finish off all the optional boss battles and get all the discoveries? Probably resulted in, in me being... A little on the OP side. One more Pirate's Wrath is all he needs and he'll be done. God, he likes Silver Binds. a Krulin crystal for uh, Ica, please. I gotta admit, I thought I was in for a much tougher battle than this. Uh. Oh, whoo! Whoo! Thought the game froze there. Guess we don't get a reward screen. Oh, hey! Where'd you guys come from? You'd think that'd have helped.
Um, truth be told, I wouldn't mind spitting on that thing and punting it overboard. Well, that's uh, just one way of doing it. And with the death of Zelos and Ramirez, it is of course time for Saltis to just disappear into the sea. Sea? Sky. Just makes no sense saying disappear into the sky when it's doing that. I don't want to get too close to that vortex. Damn right, Fiona. We've seen how strong Cupel is now. Need to keep an eye on that. <laughs> Can't let you go around unchecked. Because they helped us in fights. No offense, Sun Team, but your ship looks a little beat up. I'm not entirely sure what good it can do. That's one hell of a flagship.
Ah, oh, birdies. That is one hell of a wedding dress. Yay, Nazra's been rebuilt. A little girl just that shit. Totally decked it. Dirty Enrique, come on. Where can I unlock that costume from? Not the Delphinus. And that, ladies and gentlemen, the Skies of Arcadia Legends. This really was the first JRPG that I ever really played to completion. I'd played Final Fantasy VII before. I'd dabbled in a few others, Fantasy Star, games like that. I'd never completed any of them. And oh, I didn't actually... Oh, they've got actual uh, stories for the guys. This is the, um, the first JRPG that I ever finished the completion and at the time of the yes, I had a guide um, I've, I've always been fairly mediocre at games I guess and uh, so I had a guide to help me but I just remember loving this and I guess now when we look back at it the battle system is really simple you know I mean, when it comes to simple battle systems, I think only um, I think only basic hack and slashes have simpler combat. You know, magic becomes pretty useless. I rarely used a spell in that. I wish it was. A, I wish I could get a stat for spells cast. Um, yeah, you know, you can't use spells to buff yourself because you're using Delta Shield all the time. Um, using spells against enemies tends to not work because they usually have really high magic defense. So you end up with a, a really basic strategy and you, know, you always have a couple of guys defending. And uh, <laughs> grew tired of knowing everything. Fortune towers. Uh, so you end up with a really basic battle strategy where everyone's always doing the same thing. Yeah, Ike is always using Delta Shield. Um, Fina usually guards for most of it until you get a until you get like just a shield. Whoever your fourth party member is is usually a second attacker up until they get their defensive capabilities. If you go with Gilder or Enrique, if you go with uh, Drachma all the time. He will always be. Um, he'll, he'll always be an offensive guy because he doesn't have doesn't really have any defensive moves. 
So it does get a bit simplistic, but I just love how how charming the whole thing is. The story's cliche, you know, it's classic good versus evil. And there aren't that many twists and turns along the way. Um, Valua getting superseded by an even more malevolent presence. And, you know, it's uh, it's always going to happen. You know, you, you take one look at Galsy and you knew he was uh, you knew he was going to be, uh, be trouble. And they made such a deal of Ramirez, you always knew he was going to be like the last boss. But it just feels well written and well put together. And it feels like it was a game really done with love. Ah, oh, Drachma died. I don't know what else Overworks did, you know? I should probably look that up. But, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, you get the feeling that it was a studio that really loved this game and loved making it. And it shows. And despite its flaws, despite its simplistic combat, you know, despite the cliche story, and the uh, overly cute char uh, main characters. Um, and I'll always have a soft block in this game. And I'll come back to it another time and complete it again and again and again. You know, I always come back to it fairly, fairly regularly. Well, not fairly, you know, once every couple of years or so I'll come back to it. The last time I came back to the game, I got up to... Uh, I got off to Dangro Island before I ended up not playing anymore. Just had other things to do. I'm sure I'll come back to this again. I will come back to this again because there's a boss fight you haven't seen simply because I don't have time between recording to do all the extra monster killing I need to do. Uh, I've got I've killed something like 1300 monsters, I need to kill 2500, so I'm not even halfway there. Well, I'm barely, just over halfway there. Um, and so, yeah, you know, I've got I've got some stuff to do to get him to appear. He will appear. I will record it, and I will upload it. Sadly, there's no new game plus mode. So, I'm left with my previous save. Well, guys, I hope you thought it as fun as I did. And I don't know what my next game is going to be. Um, I posted on Facebook and Twitter that I might actually go a while without recording something. Because as much as I've enjoyed recording this for you guys, and I really love playing it, it's gotten to the stage where I've been, been not really been playing it for me so much and I get a limited amount of time to play games these days just with my job and life in general and I'd like to spend it you know playing a game for me uh, playing it with the rest of the mind time guys you know just no, no, no feeling like I need to sit down and do an hour's recording each night and sit there and edit it I mean I, I don't get me wrong, I love doing it. You know, this has been tremendous fun. I've learned a lot about video editing. Um, I've learned a lot about video formats. Um, I've certainly got a lot more confident in talking. Anyone who um, watched back during the early Pokemon games I played uh, during the start of the Nuzlocke will know I hardly ever spoke on it. I just let the game happen, and now here I am uh, delivering a post-game um, monologue to everybody. It's been fun. I really have enjoyed it. There will be something. I have an inkling. Uh, th there is a game definitely I know I want to play. And I will get to it. It's not out yet. Uh, I'll give it a plug right now. Uh, Soul Saga. 
I can't remember. Uh, name of the developer. Give me a second, actually. How I came to know about this game is the developer has been favouriting my tweets about this game. Disaster Cake. That's the developer. Um, they've been favouriting my tweets every time I've uh, hashtagged Sky of Arcadia. And they're developing a game called Soul Saga. Now this sadly passed me by um, early on. I didn't get to uh, see the Kickstarter. Uh, but you can pre-order the game. It'll be out middle of the year sometime. It takes a lot of its cues from JRPGs and one of its big influences is Guys of Arcadia, including air exploration, ship battles, and from everything I've seen of it, it looks fantastic. So, there's a shameless plug. That game, I will play on here. So look out for that. Now you might get something else in the meantime. I've got to keep this channel relevant. But... For now, folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching these as much as I've enjoyed playing and recording these. See you next time.